First, due to the selection, uh, we have one uh, suspended player. So that's Abdullah Juma. So that brings us a little bit in, uh, in choices. Uh, on the other side, uh, we have Masud coming back. And we have, since yesterday, also uh, an injury. I have to see him because he didn't come in this morning. It's uh, Ahmed Juma. He had a kick on his ankle yesterday. He found that it was a, a problem, but we didn't see him till now. So he had to be there normally this morning already. But we expect that uh, he can have uh, problems maybe for uh, the next game to win the selection or whatever. All the others, they are OK till now, so we'll see today. But it's going to be light and quiet on the training. We just do some uh, little physical work and some tactical ones, but it's especially get fresh and uh, as well in the body as in the mind. Uh, concerning uh, Ashman, I saw the last two games. Uh, one game they were bringing Shabab in problems, and Shabab couldn't only make the difference in the last uh, minutes. And the other one, they made a very good result against uh, Sharjah. They were very efficient. That means uh, they didn't need a lot of chances, and they scored a lot and easy in the chances they had. Um, but I understand and I know and I'm sure and I'm going to tell the players already today uh, that we have again a game we have to win, a difficult game against an opponent who who knows that for him the shortest way to get something is uh, the President's Cup. But for us also it is uh, for me uh, the same than against Alwada. Alwada. We have to win, we have to continue to keep our ambitions uh, clear. And we know that it's going to be very difficult against a very motivated uh, Ashman. Yeah, so for me it's important uh, to see the same spirit and the same, also the same quality than against uh, Alwala. Of course, what was good has to stay good and that's the biggest challenge. And what was not good, we have to do better, of course, because there were still some fumes we have to work on. But I think in general how we started, how we fight, how we reacted after 1-2, uh, I have to be very happy and we have to continue on uh, that way. So if some say we are lucky, I think you cannot be lucky without quality. So you can talk also about uh, some players and everybody has always to be able to do better. On the other side, I saw also players who maybe had it had difficult the last weeks, but we played them much, much better and we were who were very important for the team. And that's what I try to work uh, on and to continue on. So more, much more positive than criticizing, because criticizing is not for me a solution. No, no, that they were, that they were. I said some people sometimes outside last week and also what we saw, we expected that some players can reach a higher level. Some they did uh, and they were on the good way, so it's not negative, it's, uh, it's positive. Yeah, it's easy, we have two. <laughs> we have two choices. No, normally two. I put already Hamis there uh, in the Etisalat Cup, but uh, I think it's maybe a little bit early for him to start there. So it's going to go between... Uh, he played there in Etisalat Cup. No, no, I said he played there in Etisalat Cup. But I think it's a little bit early for him to put him uh, now. And he's doing well in midfield, so uh, I don't think there's a big reason to change it. Uh, so it's going to go between Sami and uh, Bashir. Uh, coach, can you give us an update on uh, Ali Kushev? Yes, we see how he is today. He played yesterday with the second team, <clears throat> so he's doing well. We are following up very close his uh, progression. Of course, you need game. The game of yesterday was... Well, he played well, but he didn't have a lot of work. And that's maybe good for the team, but not good for the goalkeeper and the preparation we need. So uh, we'll see, we'll talk about uh, this week. Uh, but we are still confident for Essa. Um, so it is, um, we have three good goalkeepers we can use. It's up to Essa uh, to try to keep uh, and stay number one. It's to the other ones to, to try to be number one and or to be from three to two. That's a Fantastic competition and, and a good thing. may not be that the team is uh, suffering from it. So if he's uh, not complaining or not having a reaction on his knee, he has to work and then we'll see what we're doing. But I think he's more and more as he plays. But I say again, reserved games are not always uh, the same. So we have also to consider this.
Oh, sorry, a, game, uh, a lot of games in short period at the moment. So is it good for the to bring the momentum, or is there a worry that some of the players might uh, get fatigued, pick up injuries? Yeah, it's good and not good. Um, it's not good in, in the fact, of course, that uh, games uh, that follow up each uh, three days uh, are hard, tough for the players, uh, physically, mentally. Uh, it's not always physically. Normally, as a professional, you have to be. But you know this is happening everywhere, that some players, they they can play uh, three games in a week, what I call three games in a week, and there are others who have more problems uh, with this. Um, so it's always dangerous, not only physically, but also mentally, to get again. Uh, and that's not easy. You just finished one game, you finished it well, but today you have to turn the bottom and say it's finished and we have to motivate for the next one. And then we play uh, four days later again. So um, it, that's the way it is not good if, if they are not uh, ready to that. The way it is good that is that you, you don't fall asleep. Uh, you won, you maybe can relax a little, but then immediately you keep your motivation and concentration high. And you have to do it for the next time again. So you stay sharp, you stay busy, you stay uh, normally at a higher level. So it keeps you in the running. And if the running or the mood is good, you can uh, use it. And then it's better sometimes to play a lot, uh, not to train too much and uh, concentrate uh, 200% on uh, the games. Sometimes if there is no target, if the target is far away, uh, seven days, eight, day, uh, eight days, and then uh, players sometimes for two or three days, they, they don't mind and they are not uh, in the right uh, conditions. Yeah. First, I think you have to work with the team you have and try to make this better. And I think this is possible. Um, so this is the main uh, work. After uh, I always say, well, look somewhere else if you have it here. Uh, after, it's for me the easiest way, also for a coach, but it's sometimes necessary to say, hey, I want this or I want that. I don't know many coaches who say, I want nobody. Uh, no, nobody in, in this thing is doing, and even, uh, I think, public board, they all want uh, better players. And in football, you, you come and you go. Uh, so today you are playing here, the day after you are playing somewhere else. But again, this is not my uh, priority. This is something uh, you have to talk about with the club. And if something happens uh, uh, or presents, uh, is, uh, is coming, you can always take it in consideration and uh, make take a decision. But this is not for me the priority. Priority is this selection. And I stay with this. Only you have to... Uh, be aware that we have big selection. We, had, we have about 29 players. It is also uh, practically not very easy and I don't think also not good to continue. So after the talk with the board and after the talk also with the players, I think you have to talk with the players about that also. Uh, you can make uh, decisions uh, one by one. What do you need? For me it's easy, what I call uh, quality, efficiency. It's the most important for a player. So what is he bringing immediately? Uh, because you can take players, but if you have to wait six months, it's a problem. Uh, what can he bring immediately for the team? And if you think you can find an opportunity like that, and everybody finds himself in this, then you can do it. Because everybody here, I mean, it's a little bit everywhere. You see, everybody has, uh, I call it, something on your on their back, and it's you are defender, you are attack player, you are midfielder. No, 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 no. And then I put six midfielder. Ah, very offensive, ah, very defensive. And I put six. You're very offensive. No. No, no, of course. You can play with four really defenders. Huh? I mean, just take an example. Huh? I didn't say it there like that, but you can do. It. You can say, I play with four attack players. There were no balance. And it, yes, you can make balance. I said to Diaki and Delgado, you stay. We didn't give, we gave chances because task was not filled in, not because Diaki and Delgado was playing. They had one chance with Hugo. Yeah. Uh, the only responsibility for me is then to, to take another one who hope will not this, do this or to talk better, talk with the player and say, next time do it different or do something else. So the balance, you, you, can, you can change the balance and you can look in function of the need of the game I think on that moment the game needed this and uh, you can bring the balance on another level with other players. So I think uh, Diaki and Delgado did very well and our, uh, our defence was able to follow up and to, to uh, use the pressure our forwards were putting on uh, Alvada. So 
you can say to four defenders, you stay, you stay in zone, you do your defense work. You can say to the two other ones, you make the game from there, but in this position, don't go away. And I think they did very well. And to the forwards, stay high and make the difference. So the balance is still there, only it's with different uh, players. The profile of the players is different. You understand? Profile, one is more defense, one is more attack. And this is 200% true. But the game needed this. Delgado in the last match were in very high performance. He, he won the game, individual. His performance in the last match, he helped the team in the last match much more than the other teams. Do you think for the next match he will do the same? I hope so, eh? but uh, that's always the problem because uh, you have one time, uh, one level and the day uh, or the game after everybody hopes you get the same. You know it is human and you know it is football that it's not always like that. But I think he's able to. Uh, and in this, it's also what we expect. It's also what we um, uh, wait f uh, from him. That means that he makes the difference so that he is important for uh, the team. Uh, we never doubted about it. We just, uh, and we talk about it also with him. We just had to wait a little bit because it happens to everybody. And then I come back to what I said in the beginning. It is human, it is football that sometimes it happens on one player, one, two or three games, even sometimes one or three weeks. And for some even longer, good players are out of form, are not uh, in the best uh, mood. So you have to try to help them to come out. I think uh, Matthias showed um, the good example on the last game. So we help him to continue like that. Uh, it depends. I'm a, I'm, I'm a coach um, who is looking at game by game. and. Um, Sometimes I change because I think we need to change. And uh, I'm also a coach who's using everybody. I mean, if I think I can use them if they are better. So it can be that sometimes also why we choose for Ali Macbeth now, that you choose for one, uh, what he says, one balance, more quicker, more. It's sometimes possible you choose for a bigger one, a taller one, a stronger one. Um, but of course, when somebody plays well, when somebody is good, it's all, always much uh, more difficult to, to say you don't play the next uh, game. And uh, we will need everybody. We have a lot of games. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, there's a quick follow-up of, uh, of uh, important uh, games for us. So we will need everybody. And that's why I was happy also with the fact that sometimes you need uh, one player in the one game 90 minutes. Sometimes you need 170 and the other one 20. If they both make the difference, then it's uh, very good. Salah Bashir, he's in the team since more than 10 years. He's an experienced player. He played or loaned to several clubs. You will not be benefiting. Is it not possible to participate him this match and take the benefits of him? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> As it is maybe also possible that Sami, with a lot of experience, yeah. with a lot of games behind, is playing. So, maybe, yeah, maybe, because again, this is past. I see now and I look now and then I hope to make um, the best uh, choice. So, so we'll see. Depends also if we use Bashir, we have to put Neil on the other side. If, if he use Sami, we can leave Neil where he is. Thank you very much. Have a good day.